Well, I'm joined now, live from Dublin, by two of Cliff's closest friends, singer Daniel O'Donnell and his wife Magella, who supported him throughout the ordeal. It's so good to see both of you. And, and Daniel, I know you've been friends for like 14 years with Cliff and you've phoned him right away as soon as these allegations happened. I mean, I guess there's relief, but there must be some anger as well that he had to go through this. Yes, it's, I mean, I suppose we are absolutely delighted that the ordeal is over for Cliff. But we say it's over, but, you know, it's going to be there with Cliff for the rest of his life, the, the torment that he went through. I know he's a strong man, and I'm sure he'll go forward, you know, in the best way he can, but nothing will ever take away the, the two years that he's gone through. And I suppose from our point of view, it was disbelief when we saw it unfolding on TV like everybody else. Yeah, and like, like he did. I mean, he was away. He didn't even know that it was happening. Somebody had to call him to say, you won't believe what's happening when the BBC were, were transmitting these, these pictures of his home being raided. I mean, the, the effect on him, you know, he, he talks about it very eloquently with, with Gloria, but as his friend, Magella, what, what did you see, Cliff, did he change? Oh, I think it has affected him enormously to be perfectly honest with you i don't think cliff will ever fully get over this mm. i think it's it's just shocking that he has had to go through this um at this stage of his life because you know cliff has been is such a a pure soul that's what i always thought when i got to know him he's a real gentle man and a pure soul so this it shocked him beyond belief and i i just think He's, he's, he was bewildered, and the fact that he could do absolutely nothing, you know, this was legal, what was happening to him. And to me, it amounts to mental abuse, really. He has been mentally abused over the last two years. Poor Cliff, it's absolutely awful. And it's that thing, isn't it, Daniel, of having no peace of mind. You know, he was saying it's the, it's the first thing you think about when you wake up, the last thing you think about when you go to sleep, and he, he had sleepless nights. I mean, it's, it, it is... You, you said it right, Magella, it, like, it was like mental torture. Well, you know, he's he's done so much for so many throughout his career. I mean, we've only seen, I suppose, the public things, but he does so much privately as well, you know, just to to make people feel good. And I think that that was one thing, that he just couldn't understand that this was happening. And I suppose the, the what should come out of this is that, you know, until somebody is, you know, that there's a case there Yeah, to until be they're charged, yeah. Yes, I mean, we're never, and Cliff would, I'm sure, be the first to say mm. that any uh, uh, accusation, uh, you know, anybody that's accused Absolutely, should be yeah. investigated. Mm. But privately, until you know that there's a case to be answered. Mm. You no, know, his, his, he was just hung out to, you know, to be ridiculed yeah. before it was there was horrendous. any... Yeah, before there was any, mm. uh, and, and indeed now they've said there's not enough evidence to proceed, rather than, I know that's a legal terminology, rather than just saying that he's innocent mm. and, and that's it. Absolutely. Magella, how important do you think his fans were to him in, in helping him through oh, this couple of years? Absolutely fantastic and really, really important because Cliff's life is about, you know, his family, his friends and his <laughs> fans. And, you know, singing, we went to his 75th birthday concerts in the Royal Albert Hall. And as soon as he walked out onto the stage, the whole audience stood up and started clapping, showing him their support. And they were loyal to the end. None of them ever believed, you know, I mean, I'm fairly active on social media and there was no fans who ever said anything against him because, they, again, they know the character of the person. For sure. And, and Daniel, now, what's going to happen to him now, do you think? What, what should he do? I mean, I know, you know, friends and family have all rallied <laughs> round. Um, what do you think Cliff should do now? Well, I think I think that you know if, if he can do something to clear his name because I know it's it's we all believe it, mm -hmm. but I think that that there should be something done. Maybe um, maybe he's the one to make it possible for people to have you know some kind of respect. Actually, you know, I, going I forward. said that to Cliff at, uh, in the middle of all this. Mm. Um, I said maybe there's a reason this has happened to you. Um, and maybe you're the one now to go forward and help to change the law so that this never happens to somebody else again. Mm. So please God, he will yeah. be you able know, to do something. Cliff, Cliff is, uh, I mean, I know we all say that he's a really good person. We, we went to Portugal just the week after the allegations were made and um, I was sitting with him and 
he, he was stunned. He said, I can't understand mm. why this person has done this. But he says, I would like to sit with them and try and figure out what's wrong. He says, you know, he says, there's some reason for this. But he says, I forgive the person. And I, 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 I sat there just looking at him thinking how, how good he was yeah, to be remarkable. able to get yeah. to that. Absolutely. You know, so, I mean, from our point of view, we just want to wish him peace and want to wish him all the best for the future. And please, God, he'll be able to go forward and leave it behind when the time is right to leave it behind. And know that those that matter to him supported him and believed him all the time. Well, Daniel Magella, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it. Thank you.